ever. And yet this week, they were. So a battle began. Uh, a battle on the roadside where my brother was uh, taken down by about 20 agencies and t taken to a federal court or a federal uh, jail. And we had to battle for him. And then they didn't even prosecute him, just jumped, dumped him out on the street once they knew that everybody was going to make a big enough steam. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's exactly what we're talking about. It's martial law. He called it martial law. It is martial law. If there is no free speech, this is a bureaucracy from Washington that went into this area and said, we're going to set up free speech areas where you can exercise your free speech. They set up snipers pointing them at these people. He said there was just only about uh, three of us about a week ago, and we were facing snipers on the hill. I couldn't believe that this would happen in our own area. Let me tell you something. If you're in denial about what happened to this family, you're going to see the same thing happen to you if you don't stand together. If they can come in and say you have no free speech, we're going to arrest you if you set foot on this property on the king's land. If they're going to set up observation posts looking at people, if they're going to arrest or, and tase or anybody that steps out of their car onto this, and we saw this happen over and over again, they're basically were acting as predators. And the videos that you've seen where they tasered uh, the guy that was just uh, speaking, that was Ammon Bundy. He was the son of Clive and Bundy. Tasered him multiple times, multiple times. These guys pulled them out and kept going. They didn't go after these guys. What they did was they came up then in the crowd and attacked the smallest person there, a woman who was recovering from cancer, grabbed her from behind and threw her to the ground. They're ambush predators. They single out the weak. That's why we needed to stand with them. That's why we needed to have everybody standing up. And I was so heartened to see so many people show up. So many of them told us that they had heard about this story through InfoWars. Because it broke nationally when uh, Drudge picked up Watson's story. And just the spirit of the people there. We went to that area when they called for people to go to the area to pick up the cattle. It was great to see Clive and Bundy standing there listening to the sheriff saying that they were now going to give them back some of their rights. You know, they take 100 steps forward and they take one step back. And he just listened to him silently. And then he got up and he said, well, I'm going to tell you now what we want. We want you as the lawful authority here, the sheriff, to collect the weapons from this unlawful military band that's come here and deposit them here in one hour. And we want you to take down those barricades where they've been taxing people, where they've been attacking people, we want you to take those down in one hour. Now we waited, and of course they didn't do any of that. And then he got up to the microphone, he said, I don't give you orders, I only give orders to two people, the governor and the sheriff, because they have a duty to fulfill. But he goes, I'm telling you what we're gonna do, we're gonna go get our cattle, and if you wanna come with us, you can. And it was an amazing sight. Everybody got in their cars, we went down there, as we got to the area, they were telling us, leave the area. We have a court order. We will use lethal force. We will shoot. We waited for the cavalry to get there, essentially. We stood there and waited as they were threatening us. And then gradually, as the cavalry got there, we gradually approached. And we walked them down like V from Vendetta. It was amazing to see the resolution of these people and the peacefulness of it. This is the thing. I've, I've seen people writing comments about how, as Christians, should we take up arms against our government? You know, they told us to obey legal authority. That's the question. What is legal authority? Can you determine what legitimate authority is? Many times people have questioned whether or not this is, they're doing the right thing, whether they had a right to do this or not. Let me tell you something. When the BLM, when the EPA, when the IRS, when OSHA and ATF can create their regulations, without any input from us, that is regulation without representation. Take a look at a Federal Reserve note. You know how they used to teach, before they changed the Federal Reserve notes uh, every few months, they used to teach people how to recognize counterfeit Federal Reserve notes by having them study the real thing. You know how to know whether or not a law is legitimate or not? You study the real thing. That's the Constitution. The Bundys knew the Constitution. Clive and Bundy taught his family the Constitution. We're going to be right back. We've got a comment from the Bureau of Land Management. Finally, they responded to our questions about why they're doing this. We're going to have that response right after the break. Stay tuned.
So my elementary school age child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable service survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. was a highway man along the coach roads I did ride Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I just got back from Nevada from the Bundy Ranch standoff. I was there, so was Josh Owens. He's going to be joining me at the top of the hour. We're going to be joined at the bottom of the next hour at 12:30 Central Time with Alex Jones. We're going to talk about how important this event was, the many principles that were involved here, the victory that we saw here. They basically were stood down by a determined group. Let me read you the motto of the Texas Rangers. No man in the wrong can stand up against a fellow that's in the right and keeps on a coming. That's the story this weekend. That's what happened on Saturday. That's what's been happening with Cliven Bundy since 1993. He's been in the right and he's kept on a coming. 
Now, they were teaming up against him with his family. They had brought 200 officers down there, is uh, the count that I have seen. Certainly believe that. As they were leaving the area, we counted 82 vehicles leaving. A massive compound. Can you guys pull up for the uh, people who are watching, pull up the uh, picture. They had aerial pictures that they had taken of the BLM compound there. Uh, I guess it was Thursday. They finally got somebody who came down and volunteered with a plane. They were trying to find his cattle. His cattle were scattered all over the place. They were trying to find them before the BLM did so they could round them up. They also took pictures of the compound. Click on one of those and you can get a large picture of that. There you go. A huge compound, a huge military operation mounted against these people. But what happened was Mr. Bundy quietly stood on his rights. They were trying to run him off the land just as they had 52 other ranchers using code violations created by the Bureau of Land Management, which doesn't have any authority to legally write the law. But we've allowed that to happen. And it's not just that agency. We see that happening with every bureaucracy. Every bureaucracy in Washington is writing their own laws, creating their own militarized police force that they will use as if it is undeclared martial law whenever they feel like they need to. That's part of the ammunition purchases that we've seen. We've seen all of these agencies, even uh, the uh, Oceanic Agency, NOAA, has got its own law enforcement agencies like that. The Department of Education, and they have used them as SWAT teams. There was a case where they pulled a man and his family out of their home at the dead of night with guns loaded to their heads because they were looking for the wife who was no longer even living with the family. She had left the family because she had some outstanding student loans. So the Department of Education sent the Department of Education's SWAT team to collect the loans. If you think this is just about some rich white rancher Mormon getting his cattle back and, and disobeying the law and not paying his grazing fees, you're not paying attention. Essentially, none of that is true. There's a lot of really hateful rhetoric about dividing people into groups. And we've got a quote from Cliven Bundy's uh, brother who discusses that about how their tactics, just as we have pointed out, their tactics is always are always to divide and conquer the population. I see our whole society being picked apart by by forcing us into little groups that won't stand together. This is Steve Bundy. We got this group over here and they're worthless and this group over here and they're this and they're that and this is that and everybody's divided and everybody has some kind of conflict that they can't stand up for the other one and this divides our society this is from Simon being Brothers. able to stand here. And Simon I see Bundy's people brother. from every walk of life standing here and this has changed my life from Monday till today. My feeling about my fellow man on this land. And the yeah, that was an amazing speech. Now, let me tell you what happened on Saturday. We had an interview scheduled at 8 o'clock in the morning with Mr. Bundy. Uh, and we went, we went to the place where we had uh, arranged for the interview. He wasn't there, so we went to find out what was going on at the ranch. And they told us that the whole family was meeting in prayer, that they had just heard that the sheriff was going to be there at 9 a.m. in the morning. And he wanted to meet privately with Mr. Bundy, but he wasn't going to meet with him privately. He said, if you've got anything to say to me, you can say it to the people that are here. The sheriff wanted to meet with him behind closed doors. Overnight, they had decided that they were going to allow him to put his cattle back on the range. It was interesting when we first got there, they had signs up at the entrance to the open range area uh, saying that there was a cattle guard crossing. And if you don't know what one of those are, it's, it's basically a lot of metal bars that were put into the street. And the second day we got there, they had taken down those signs. And so we got out and we, we took a picture of that. Josh and I did a report on that, showing that those cattle guard signs were down, showing that something that had been there for a very, very long time, and of course the family has been there for 140 years, the state of Nevada had put that cattle guard into the road. They had put those signs up, and they were going to remove those rights. That was where things were on Friday. We're going to pick it up and tell you what changed on Friday and how the events came down on Saturday. But it was truly an amazing story how this turned around. We can stand them down peacefully. If we look them in the eye, they will blink. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The M.